Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I want to take a look at, at how we can use my or your smartphone as an additional camera for working with OBS. I know some time back I did a video um, that spoke about using your DSLR um, as a additional camera for OBS and so you can have a multi-cam situation where you have your DSLR camera you have your webcam and any other camera you might want to run in OBS um, studio so today though I have my smartphone always on me I'm always using um, my smartphone for taking videos taking pictures and so I thought that there must be a way for me to link that into OBS and get some of that same quality that they're pushing out um, from your smartphone on OBS uh, one of the solutions I found was to use a software called Cam On Stream um, Software, as you will see in the preview that I'll show you guys. Um, it does depend on you having connectivity to a local area network, or that your computers and your computer and your smartphone is connected to the same network, and then you use a specific port number to access the um, camera itself using OBS um, source as a browser. So stay tuned um, let me show you how to do that and i'm hoping you get a chance to use your smartphone on obs right? all right so one of the first thing you want to do is to download the common live stream um, and install it to your android phone and of course um, this is the screen that you will see uh, it gives you the resolution setting, um, the zoom level, and also um, the IP address written at the bottom. So these are just some of the different features that are available to you. I know it's not too clear because of the size of the video I recorded, but you can, you're you able to change the resolution to what you want um, based on the output that you want um, displayed to the screen. So um, do take a chance and play around with some of the features. Remember that this um, software was originally meant to be used for video streaming uh, in terms of setting up the smartphone as a security system um, in your home right so you can change all the setting um, the same um, setting button up top can be used to go to the front and back camera as needed all right so i think that you have downloaded the common live streaming um, program and you're running it on your smartphone your android smartphone of course um, and you will have noticed the IP address down at the bottom. So one of the first things you want to do is to get a browser open. So you open a browser and up in the address bar, you want to type in the IP address, which is the 192.168.1.04, um, which is found on my network. Remember that your router now is pushing something called dynamic post control protocol, which means that it gives your um, phone device a specific number or an IP address that you can use be sure to specify the port number um, that is given and that port is 8080 so it's a colon behind the address followed by the port number of 8080 and of course all of this can be seen in the address on the phone itself right at the bottom of the screen so right there we can hit enter um, i have my phone on already the common stream is on right the lighting condition in here is kind of low so you'll see a difference in the quality um, that I'm receiving here. Uh, I showed you earlier the different settings that you can use in terms of changing um, the settings. You can use the back and the front camera. So let me change to the back camera so you can see. So this is my back camera, right? And in, in here it's kind of dark, so it looks kind of all grainy. Um, and then of course my front camera which i'll use so i'll set it back to front camera and there we go so let me put this down so we can talk a bit about what what i did so we now have access to both of these um using obs i guess this is a better camera um, so the next step then is to simply 
take a browser or add in another source into OBS. I'm using the browser and add this particular URL to it and have it capture and do the resizing. So let me show you how to do that. So in OBS, we can click on add source and choose browser. And I will call this my browser smartphone capture. Right? browser smartphone capture for this particular video um make sure it's it right and then okay um in here on the url you're going to place in the ip address along with the port number um, that we had earlier um, that i mentioned that we would be using right and then okay and so you notice now that appears as another source uh this is nice but i want to get rid of all of these all, all of this top part that is here um, so that I'm only viewing the video content itself and so let's look at that to do that what you want to do is to right click and let's choose transform and we'll edit transformation now what we're doing is cropping in the left a little bit the right a little bit and the top a little bit right and the bottom is okay as is so for the crop left we can crop this way and notice that this part is um, coming off and so let's crop that to 30 i guess and go a little bit more let's do 35. Uh, we can crop the right i think about let's do 80. yeah that's good let's do 100. yeah even better right so i'll crop left a little bit more so we get rid of the white part um and then the top we can crop i think about 220. Uh, we could go a little bit more maybe 240. Let's do a slow process. Ah, uh, there we go. And so now what we're doing is that we're actually seeing the capture um, from the um, smartphone itself. So close and this gives us our additional capture now that we have. So I have my capture from my um, webcam that I'm using, my Logitech webcam and that shoots at 720. And I now have my capture from my smartphone that I'm using. And so I'm able to now move the smartphone al al around um, to any location right so if i wanted a um, multiple camera and i want to use my smartphone as a camera i could position it in any part that i want and have dual camera using the um, obs software and of course you can then add it to an next scene and so forth and we could put that in the next video for you if you want to so that's pretty much it that's how you get your smartphone working as a um, additional camera for OBS um, and remember that you can now do back and front for this right again keep in mind that you need to have some sort of um, network or local area network running um, for this to occur so your computer must be in a network shared with the phone so I have my phone connected to my Wi-Fi and I have my desktop connected to my Wi-Fi which is why they're able to um, get the same range of IP addresses and be able to attach to it then um, and use it as a part of OBS. Uh, also, um, remember that you have to specify the port number, right? And of course, the quality um, can be improved for me, especially. I would have to probably add in some other lighting above or at the side, or maybe um, use it during the day by a window. Um, and of course, the changes can be made um, within the come on live stream software on the phone, like I showed you earlier um, while we were playing around with that. So. I hope you found this um, video helpful and that it, it gives you a chance to use your smartphone for something else other than just having it around and know that you don't have to buy any additional webcam or buy an additional DSLR that you can attach to your um, OBS, right? And this gives you a chance now to do a multi-cam stream or a multi-cam recording in OBS. So if you find this, if you found this video useful, um, leave a comment below let me know what you think let me know if there's another procedure you might use to get your smartphone working as a additional camera for obs i'll see if you haven't subscribed to the channel let's do that um, and turn on the notification button so that um, you can see whenever i post new videos and like always guys go have fun be safe in these times and geek yourself